Today we will be playing another classic Christmas carol, Old Long Sign. But instead of uh, focusing on finding the right voicings for the chord, we will approach the piece by uh, focusing on the movements of the voices instead. So the first chord being an F6. And then we can make a very nice movement in the bass like this. And we can uh, continue this actually. So we have a bass line that goes like this, maybe it's nice. Let's see if we can think where the tenor voice wants to go instead of just thinking about the voicing of the chords. Any pianist would say that this is a bad voicing. But we came to this voicing because the tenor voice wanted to go down. We could also be focusing on the alto voice instead. Here on the F6, it's very nice to end instead uh, with the F in the bass, but then end with a B in the tenor voice, a D in the alto voice. It's a very nice uh, ending. It sounds a little bit old or a little bit classic, not too jazzy. If you start by playing in four voices, keep the four voices the uh, rest of the piece. It's uh, much easier, especially in the beginning. See if you can create these uh, dissonances. So instead of going down on the G minor 7 right away, keep the wrong note that you have from the chord before, in this case the A, and keep it there. You see like this, if you get used to not jumping to the chord right away, but uh, waiting a little bit, keep the suspension uh, going, then uh, you have some wonderful phrases in the end. If we want to make a overall nice dynamic, we can start maybe a little soft piano, an octave above. <laughs> 